Yep. Ow. <laughs> that hurt. The weddings. The, okay. I'm bad. This is going to be like a real tutorial and I have to give real information. I mean, I try to give real information when I do these things, but I'm bad at it. So you're going to get married or have a baby or retire or have some other large life event where you want to make invitations and they're probably going to be expensive, especially wedding invitations. I have seen the prices on those and dear all that is expensive, they are pricey. And you want to, you want to use some seals because who doesn't like a good wax seal on their letter aesthetically? And we don't use wax seals for their intended purpose anymore. So we just put pretty ones on letters. Well, in order to do that, you got to get some sealing wax and you can watch Picking Wax Part 2 conventional waxes in order to pick one you want, but you would probably use modern wax if you plan to mail them. So once you pick your seal, which you can get custom ones made online, uh, and you pick your wax, you gotta just put them on the letters. But who wants to pour hot wax onto their expensive invitations and just sort of hope for the best? So today I am going to show you very briefly, uh, hopefully briefly, probably not briefly, none of my videos are particularly brief because I'm not a brief person, but as brief as I, I can be, I'm going to show you how to make a wax seal that you can then put on your letter afterwards, kind of like these. These. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> This is the part of the video where I show everyone what it's like to pour wax on the envelope. Got to melt the wax to do that. You're not supposed to eat this wax. These Star Boys look so good though. Especially the blue ones. If they don't want you to eat something, they shouldn't make it look like candy. Or it could just be that good old pica kicking in. When I was a kid, I used to eat a lot of weird things. Like I ate phloem. And anyone remember phloem? Like Nickelodeon phloem and gacked. Gack? Gacked was a <laughs> gacked was a Japanese uh, singer, a J-pop singer. Oh man, I loved gacked. I haven't thought of him in so long. I should look up Vanilla. That was a good song. I love that song. <laughs> no, but Nickelodeon gack, I totally ate that. And chalk. That one's probably less weird. A good amount of people eat chalk. You know what? what's one of the worst ones? Have anyone ever played the board game Pandemic? The little, little cubes, little pandemic cubes. Those look good. I want to eat those so bad. This is totally going to be like that moment from an infomercial. You know, when they're showing you how to do something, but it's using the thing they're trying to replace with their new fancy product. This, this is that moment. This is the how could I hold so many lemons moment. How does saran wrap work? Ah, use this new thing, you know? Do you ever have trouble pouring wax directly onto your envelopes? Ah, oh no! Ah, no, and I'm having so much trouble. And then like, you book, ah, this is hard for you? <laughs> I'm terrible at this. I really tried to mess it up, but it actually didn't come out that bad. Like, I tried to make that look bad. I'm, I, I don't think I'm capable of pouring the wax bad. It hurts me to do it. So when I poured it, I was like, this is how you do bad. And then it came out pretty good. But anyway, when you, when you, when you put it on the envelope, this is like the, are you tired of having your envelope completely ripped by your modern wax? That one wasn't even too bad. But yeah, sometimes they can be very aggressive when they get stuck. And the modern ones that go through the mail do not, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Snap. That's it. They don't snap. But you can't put traditional wax through the mail because it's too brittle. So you got to use this stuff. So you're going to need to get yourself a boy. One made of rock, not flesh. I mean, you can get one made of flesh. If you want to, if that's your thing. But I, you know, for this project, you're going to want one made of rock. Um, 
yeah, that type of boy, this type of boy, boy. And if you want to, more information about them or a little bit more information about them, my very first intro to seals video talks about it. But being able to pour wax seals onto these types of boys made of marble or granite, this is also granite, the pink one is granite and this is marble, um, then you can take the seals off afterwards. You can also use parchment paper, but I prefer the rocks partly because they are not disposable. They are reusable. And I don't know, that seems better for me. And they're pretty. And I like them. So the wax you choose to use is 100% important. And you can make your own wax, but I highly recommend against it for uh, something as important as like a wedding invitation. So I would use a modern wax and I would choose a bead wax like the Star Boys, or you could get it in octagons, or you can get the big ones that I showed you earlier. And that will make it a lot easier and cleaner. Now, if you are dead set on having your seals be put directly on the envelope, I would suggest using hot glue wax, which is like hot glue sticks and they go in wax, uh, hot glue guns. They have like low temperature guns for that. And you can put that directly on your envelopes. It's a lot cleaner. It's a lot safer. It, it works pretty well, but the wax is more flexible, um, and more matte. It's not as shiny. For people who don't want to risk putting the wax directly on the envelope, you can do what I'm going to show you today. And we're going to start by melting some Star Boys. You know, I don't know about anyone else, but when I was younger, I like, I had a lot of weird fears, but I didn't have the normal fears that a lot of kids have. Like I wasn't afraid of strangers, I, strangers. I wasn't afraid of reckless behavior. I wasn't afraid of a lot of things. I was afraid of the dark. I was afraid of Dazzle, the magical talking pony toy in my closet. I was kind of afraid of my Furbies. I was afraid of Ren and Stimpy. <laughs> that show scared me when I was younger. But I was not scared of most things your parents tell you you should be afraid of at all. I talked to everyone. I said whatever I wanted. I went wherever I wanted. I wasn't afraid of getting lost. <laughs> so I got lost often one time in Disney World just gone. I would just wander off someplace. And I was everywhere. And I was constantly talking and I had endless energy. And I don't know if that's just how all ADHD kids are. But I was like a sack of dumb puppies. I mean, I got better. <laughs> I don't know how else to put that. I either got older, I calmed down a bit. But there was a good span of years when I was a child where I was just in my own head. I probably, I wasn't even in the same reality as anybody else. So like, I don't know, let me know. You, you, do you have ADHD? Were you in your own reality? Were you also kind of like a sack of dumb puppies? Like a golden retriever? A sack? Can't get out? I don't know. Let me know. Do, do. And there we go. I almost lost my snack. I keep losing things. I keep putting them down and then not finding them again. That was good though. Off center. Go me. Go me being off center. Oop. All right. Oh, and then you get a beautiful flower that I got to focus the camera on. Lovely, lovely. If you don't like how off center it is, you could just do it again and you don't got to worry about uh, messing up on your envelope because I messed it up on my rock boy, on my good pink boy. Knock the camera over again. Luckily, I wasn't recording that time. Okay, so once you got it on the rock, it's pretty easy to get off. Sometimes it's a, whoop, a little bit hard, but not that time apparently. Focus. You get a lovely flower and you can color it and stuff. I'll do that off camera. So, you know, I'm not, I'm not really sure what type of wedding you're having uh, with this color scheme, but it's what I did. So it's what we're going to work with. So you got your stamp and now it's time to adhere it to your envelope. 
So you have your envelope, and I accidentally bought ones with the flat flap instead of the triangle flap, which is much more common for invitations. But you know, whatever, whatever, we make do with what we got. One way to adhere it, slightly more uh, permanent, that won't hurt the stuff on the inside of your envelope, or, you know, get too stuck to the envelope, but will also be, you know, trustworthy in the mail. And that's using super glue, and I would use the gel control super glue, because that gives you a lot more stability and safety. The liquid type just comes right off, or not right off, it spreads everywhere. That's what I'm saying. It's very liquidy. And then you can stick this on here and you like swirl it around a bit to get it centered where you want. And then it's on there. And the super glue was not dry. <laughs> super glue was not dry. So when the super glue is dry and you waited the appropriate length of time, it will be adhered to the envelope and you'll be able to rip it off without too much damage to the envelope itself, which will be sealed. But it holds on pretty well. You can use pretty much any type of glue, whatever glue you think would be strong enough and wouldn't seep through the paper, which is also dependent on how thick your envelopes are. So if you want your seal to be able to come off without hurting the envelope too much and you want maybe the people to be able to keep it, you can use double-sided tape. This is from Joanne Fabrics. You can also buy it in rounds. I lost the seal I'm using. How did I lose it? I'm not even joking. I lost the seal that I made at the beginning of this video for example purposes. So we're just going to use this Hogwarts one that I happen to have in my big pile of seals. I lose a lot of things. I don't think I've ever told somebody I have ADHD and they've been like, shock! <laughs> yeah, it was noticeable. I think it was noticeable. So you take your double-sided tape or the double-sided little tape rounds you can buy, which are more expensive, but since you're investing a lot into your invitations, I assume you would be fine putting the money into it. And you put it on the back of your seal and then you drop it. And then you take scissors and you miss, miss the tape because you're looking through the camera. Oh, and you already have something stuck to the scissors. I'm a mess, man. I am a mess. Oh, oh, my camera, okay. Dang it. This is supposed to be a serious informational video. <laughs> I can't, I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> you gotta trim the edges of your seal. I'm gonna, not the seal, but the, uh, the tape, the tape. You, you, can, you can cut the excess wax off if you really want to, but you're not supposed to, because aesthetically that's how they looked when you pour them on the envelope. Um, and you know, if you want it to look somewhat legit, you don't want to do that. So I suggest actually using the adhesive of the envelope to seal it closed. Uh, don't rely on this tape. It's not going to be that good. I'd also use the tape method if you're going to have an outer envelope and an inver inner envelope. You'd want to use like the glue method if you are going to be doing it on the outside and it's going to be like going through the mail like that. And I would use a pretty good amount of glue too. So you can make all the seals ahead of time and then when you're ready to use them, you can peel off the paper. You can turn it the right direction and then you can stick it on the envelope and then you have a seal. You can actually glue the double-sided tape or you can even use um, just regular little sticky rounds that aren't double-sided and, and glue the other side on for extra hold. Uh, I would use just the tape if you want the person to be able to keep the seal without like damaging it. If you have an inner and outer envelope then you can take them off pretty easily. It does a little bit of damage, but like a lot less damage than this, which depending on the brand and depending on uh, how hot the wax is when you put it on, you can do a good amount of damage to the envelopes. You know, you spend a lot of money on these invitations. You can use traditional wax if you have an inner and outer envelope as well, but your seal is very likely from being jostled and banged around uh, on transport to be broken even though it's on the inside. And I'm blocking all the light. So you don't want your seal to be broken. The good thing, of the, like the useful thing about modern wax is that you can keep these. I keep saying that. Maybe it's because I have a hoarding problem and I have a lot of seals. Like I'm just gonna reach behind me without looking right now onto the table. 
And I'm just going to grab, I don't know, a handful. There you go. Yep. And that's it. That's how, that's how you make your own uh, self-adhering seals ahead of time. So they'll all be perfect and pretty. And you can put them on any sort of invitation you may want.